Welcome to the Smart Tasks Tour. This tour will take about five minutes. In this tour, you will learn about using and managing Smart Tasks, which are a great way to automate common and connected steps. The first thing we'll discuss is how to manage Smart Tasks. Administrator, Manager, and Standard users can create, delete, and edit existing Smart Task templates. ACT comes with a set of standard templates, but you can add your own. You can access the Smart Tasks dialog box through the Related Tasks area or through the Schedule menu. This is the Manage Smart Tasks dialog box, where you can see a list of the Smart Task templates that you currently have available. From this dialog box, you can perform tasks such as creating new Smart Tasks, or editing, duplicating, and deleting existing smart tasks. There's a status tab where you can view the ongoing steps of any smart tasks you're running. One of the most important features of this dialog box is the auto run. This feature allows you to set up smart tasks to run based on automatic triggers rather than having to run them manually. For example, if you enable auto run for the birthday reminder smart task, it will run every day at 9 a.m. Let's take a look at one of the other available smart tasks, contacts with no recent activity. When you click the item, you can see the steps that make up the smart task every time you run it. For this particular smart task, it first finds all of your public contacts that have no activities in the last 90 days. Then it schedules an activity for you to follow up with those contacts. As discussed earlier, the Auto Run feature is available for this smart task. Enabling Auto Run will cause the smart task to run every morning at 9 a.m. When you enable Auto Run for any given task, the Auto Run icon appears next to the task in the list. For this tour, we'll show how to run the task manually. You can run smart tasks manually from four places in ACT, the Contact List, the Opportunity List, or a contact detail view or opportunity detail view. For this tour, let's go to the contact list. We've set up a lookup of all customers in the state of California to run the smart task against. Now let's access the smart task through the schedule menu. You can run the smart task against the currently selected record, the current lookup, or all records in your ACT database. Since we want to run the smart task against the contact list, let's select current lookup. Click run to begin the smart task. This particular smart task is configured to allow you to view the individual tasks before they are actually applied to the contacts in your database. The advantage of doing so is that you avoid scheduling unwanted activities in this example. Let's see the pending smart task steps. The list of pending smart task steps appears. Click the Show Details box for more information on each step. You can select individual items in the list and preview their functionality, run, or delete them. You can also select multiple items or all items and perform one action. Let's preview an item. The Schedule Activity dialog box appears, showing the details of the activity that would be scheduled. Clicking OK schedules the activity and takes you back to the pending list. Clicking Cancel simply takes you back to the list without scheduling the activity. Remember that you can add your own Smart Task templates to ACT to connect custom sets of actions. One possible application is with an ACT service, such as eMarketing. You could create a smart task that automatically opened a new email using an ACT eMarketing template every time you create a new contact. 
You have seen how to view and manage your list of available smart task templates, how to enable auto run, and how to manually run and manage a smart task series. For more in-depth training on how to manage your own smart task templates, see the premium training options available at Act Anytime Learning on the web.